today. Mum and Dad dressed all in black. They even bought a black romper for Ben. I didn't want to wear black. Gwen thought black was depressing. I that agree. life was it is a depressing colour. Dark enough already. Gran always used to say. Gran always used to say. Ah, uh, colors are the music of nature. Colors are the. Wait, when I say colors are the music of nature. Colors are the music of nature. I'm starting to see what she meant. So I went to open my wardrobe. Let's open it. Boop. Oh my. There it was. I hadn't worn it for years. I remember Gran saying it was... Beautiful, colourful. Cheery. Oh, how can I get that to that word? The funeral was outside. In the memorial garden. The sun was shining. The birds were singing. It was like... They didn't know. Of course they don't, they're animals. The vicar had just started talking when Uncle Alan stepped into the fish pond. Uh-huh. Mum found, Ben started crying. Uncle Alan yelled. I couldn't help but imagine. Everyone looked. Cran caring more about the fish than Uncle Alan. I can't bet my fish too. Pictures stuck in my head. Gran running to the drenched Uncle Alan. Grumbling at him for frightening the fish. It was too much. Oops, I meant to jump up there. The laughter bubbled up inside me. She left. Dad tried to look annoyed. Can I go up this? But I caught him smiling. <laughs> After the vicar finally finished droning on, stick up Izzy. We started the scene. All things bright. Beautiful. Ben started wailing. No, howling. Dad took him out. Well played, Ben. Laughing felt much better than crying. The wake was at our place. There were so many people. I didn't know most of them. Everyone said how sorry they were. How Gran was. Such a wonderful lady. Papa was inquisitive. I wish she could have heard them. The whole 
word interested her. She was so open and kind. Oops, I can't get up there. I don't go. Even if sometimes you'd rather she didn't. She always paid attention to you. They broke up. They broke the mound when they made Bob. Everyone had a story about Gran. Like the time she hit a bully with her pencil box? Uh -huh. Try to it in. Or when she saved a toad that had hurt its leg. She decorated Mum's room like an underwater kingdom. Oops. So she could feel like a mermaid. That's so like her. One old lady told me how they used to bunk off work and go to the Glastonbury Music Festival. Another of her friends said Gran once got arrested. Ah, uh, she got arrested. How do I get that word over there? They even partied with Van Morrison. That mom covered my ears. She got arrested, who knew? While protesting wailing. Ha uh, well in. Hippie Gran I expected this day to be terrible, Journal. And it was. But I didn't expect to smile. Oops, or laugh. I meant to jump. To be surprised? To feel happy that people loved Gran like I did. Each time I heard a story about Gran, I could imagine her laughing along with it. It was like she was there. With me, helping me through it. How do I get to that one? Now I get there. I still feel in pieces, Journal. Get a puzzle. Maybe there's a part of me that will always be sad. That will always miss her but maybe that's okay her feet and that's the way it should be uh -huh. I don't know what happens after we die we go to heaven but I think I know where we go. Into all the people who have ever cared about us. We make a sort of place for them in our hearts. I need to finish Robin's story. Gran would want me to. I want me to. I think I know what to do now. Let's summarize. After the dragon attacked her village,
Supervisor. The playful Robin set out to return the fireflies. On her travels, she met a grumpy djinn guarding a fallen city of philosophers and found a misunderstood fire creature named Lump. They became friends. But then, Lump chose to stay behind with the Ancient Ones in exchange for the gift of water breathing. Deep under the water, inside the lost Seekin Palace, chased by the shadow of remorse, Robin had her big moment of doubt. But she pulled through it all. She's ready. She is ready. And now, she is ready to face the dragon. Let's face the dragon. Now, I will return the fireflies. I'm coming for you, dragon. With her confidence renewed, a newfound power coursed through her. Page Master, we pair. to do honestly oh what up can I what Okay. 
I thought I was gonna die for sure. Haha. <laughs> Where is the fear? She felt that she could touch the sky. Seven. Break. Bam. Bam Kazooie. Bam Kazooie the game. Banjo Kazooie. And a Nintendo 64. A tall tower loomed <laughs> overhead. Many moons had shone above since first it was built. I just remembered an old game. Ha! An old game I used to play, Banjo Kazooie. Uh, which one should I do? Wise? Stay up, I don't want to get crushed. Light, it's stuck in here. Oh, fun. Rise. Oh, my God, that scared me. Come on, go up. Right here. 